Navigating English. A deep dive into prepositions of place. Hello, language explorers. Welcome to our journey through English grammar. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the fascinating world of prepositions of place. These tiny words, at, on, in, and many others, pack a real punch, helping us pinpoint the exact location of something or someone. Stick around and by the end of this video, you'll master the basics of using these prepositions accurately. To start off, let's define what prepositions of place are. They are words that indicate where something or someone is located. These might seem like small, inconsequential words, but they're fundamental to making our sentences make sense. Imagine saying, I am office, instead of, I am in the office. Changes the meaning, doesn't it? Now that we understand what prepositions of place are, let's look at three of the most common ones, at, on, and in. At is used to denote a specific location or point. It could be something as big as a building or small as a bus stop. For example, I'm waiting at the library. On indicates a position on a surface, often something flat. It could also refer to being on a side. An example of its use would be, the book is on the table. In shows that something is enclosed or surrounded. It could be used with buildings, vehicles, or geographic locations like cities, countries, etc. For instance, we live in New York. So, we've understood what these prepositions mean and how they're used. Now, it's time to practice. The key to learning prepositions of place is to use them in sentences. Remember, the more you use them, the better you will get. Try constructing sentences with these prepositions. Where is your favorite book? Is it on the shelf or at the library? Where are you watching this video? Are you in your living room or at a cafe? That's it for today's lesson on prepositions of place. It might seem tricky at first, but with a little practice, you'll soon be using at, on, and in like a pro. Remember, learning a new language is a journey, not a race. Take your time and enjoy the process. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, keep exploring.